Hello and welcome back to Family Life Builders TV. And this is my therapy couch with Tosi Opeolua. Now, today I'm just going to be talking about uh, what you should really clarify before your wedding night. You see, quite a number of people have had issues about their sex life in their relationship or in their marriage. Let me say this. It is very essential for you to understand your sexual history before you go into that marriage or that relationship. As beautiful and as lovely as sex is in your relationship or in your marriage, it is very essential for you to understand the foundational basics uh, of that uh, sexual relationship or of their sexual life, that is your partner's sexual life. And the reason why you really need to understand this is that the, your partner's sexual life have the capacity to destroy or build your relationship in the nearest future. And that's why I will say it is very essential for you to clarify this before you enter into marriage. Number one, you should understand that if a man or a woman have been sexually abused, they have the tendency to abuse other people. In a study, uh, of uh, sex offenders, I realized that those sex offenders, actually, they have also been abused. There's a particular lady in that uh, particular documentary who was abused by Adad, and guess what? She also abused uh, the son, eight-year-old son. This is very painful. I was crying when I was watching the documentary. This is real. This is what is happening. All the sex offenders that I see and heard their stories, they have also been abused at one time or the other. Part of the reason for infidelity is actually because your spouse have been abused by someone or violated when they were a child. Am I saying all of them? No, not all of them. But quite a number of them have not processed the pain. They have not been able to come out of it. And they are not living in the consciousness of the fact that it can bite them or haunt them in the future relationship. That being said, it's essential for you also to really look at how you process your sexual trauma. How did you process it when it happened? Did someone believe you? Did you talk about it? Were you bold enough to talk about it? Did they believe you? Did they help you? Were you in therapy? Because if you are not, we have seen situations where a woman does not want the husband to touch her. Then I'm wondering, why did you get married if you don't want to have sex? Because somebody sex said, who is a woman? Who is a married woman? A married woman is the person who is ready to have sex at any time of the day. So if you are not ready for it, then don't go into the marriage. Don't go into that relationship because you are going to hurt somebody in that relationship. So if you are still processing your pain, why don't you open up to somebody, maybe your counselor? And that's why I will always encourage pre-marriage counseling. It is very, very essential. If you join us on this channel, we have a membership where we deal with pre-marriage issues 
this can really help us. We will talk about things that will affect our relationship on the long run. We will talk about what we've been through, where we've been, where we are, and where we want to go in our relationship. If we clarify these things, it's going to help us to run through uh, the, the, the relationship in a smoother way than going through it uh, because of the uh, past baggage that we've been through. Make sure you clarify this because if you don't, it will come back to haunting you and you don't want that to happen to you in your relationship. Uh, so I've said, I've mentioned two things now. The first one is you really need to know that if your spouse, either of you have been violated, they have the tendency to violate another person, meaning that they have a tendency for infidelity. And I'm, I'm, I hope you want to be ready for that. So if they don't talk about it, let them talk about it. You guys should open up to one another, open up to your counselor, let them help you through it and make sure you are living a stress-free relationship. Another thing that that thing could do for you it will have the tendency to haunt you and you will not want to have sex as a man or as a woman. But most of the time, it tilts towards the woman. You don't want to have sex. You, don't do, you just don't know the reason. I know a lady who happens to be a sex therapy, actually. And she said for several years, when her husband wants to climb her, she was going to start screaming because why? someone violated her she was raped and she couldn't wipe off that memory in post-traumatic stress disorder time we call it flashes she was still having those flashes so what can you do we need to process the pain properly so when you process the pain properly then you will have a smooth sexual life we all know that sex is part of those bonds that keep you together in your marriage, in your relationship. Some people have sexless marriage. That's okay if it's good for them. But the truth is a sex, sexless marriage does not bring bond. In fact, some studies have shown that a sexless marriage builds up stress, increases the risk for diseases, for including stroke, including women having wrinkle before their time. So you want to think about that. You don't want to live in a sexless marriage, I guess. So if you want to live a beautiful sex life, then you need to address your sexual related trauma before you enter into that marriage you need to address it. You need to clarify it so that you enjoy your marriage. That's all I have for you. Till I come your way again, don't forget to subscribe. It's the notification bell so that you won't miss any video from me. If there's a particular video you want me to do, uh, also you can put it in the comment section below. Till I come your way again, keep becoming a better you because things actually work when we work it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.